All right, I wanted to make this quick vi video here. This will be good for people who who are interested in le learning more about Ivan ba Balabanov's, um, the way he trains dogs, the concepts and the me methods and stuff, and, and how I'm using them to help dogs and stuff um, because I'm, I'm having some great, great success with, with it all. But th there's a lot of conceptual stuff, and people think, um, you know, it, 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 it's, it's all technical and stuff and, and there's some real big conceptual stuff here and um what happened today was someone co commented on my youtube video and it was zico my belgian malinois and we were doing possession games and we were do doing the video that he he commented on was one that i showed specifically some downs in, mo in motion so there's some quick outs and you make the dog miss a toy and you say down and he's he's fast he's quick you know as soon as i say down boom as soon as i say out he pops out of the toy and stuff um and and he could be at a full sprint at that toy and i say down and pow he's, he's really athletic he's really fast he's smart um, um and, it's, and it's really explosive and it's really quick obedience right but it's in the context of that possession game, so so it's obedience right through this game, um, and and that's that's something we can talk talk about too. But the comment that this guy made was, um, I would love to see, I would love to see that with with a different breed of dog. Um, and what he meant there was that that. You know, sure, you can do that with that dog, with, you know, with that kind of breed. But this really can't be done with other breeds, other breeds of dogs, right? Um, and there's a couple things here. Uh, there's a couple, couple huge, huge points here. And if you want to have success with dogs and, and if you want to have success with using Ivan stuff, possession games and, and chase, chase and catch and I, Ivan stuff is not possession games and ch chase and catch and and it's it's a huge thing i'll get into that right now um because this guy is really you know um i i can't read the guy's mind and and when people write stuff on a on a on a post a video um you, like you have to look at it and you have to kind of guess guess at what he means you know and and it's pretty clear to me that he's saying that you know he would like to see this done with another breed of dog, as in, it can't be done with another breed of dog. Um, if he doesn't mean that, fine. But um, um, I have videos up of me do, doing this exact thing with other breeds of dogs. Um, so, but the whole point here is, um, I train I train pets, and almost. Almost all of the pets are trained exclusively through this. <laughs> they're trained through I Ivan stuff. Um, they're trained through these these games, um, doodles and and labs and po poodles and and you know you name it. Pit bulls, of course. Um, um, you name it, and I train them right through these exact games. But the biggest thing here is. Um, does he mean that he would like to see another dog, another breed of dog, do it exactly like my Belgian Malinois Zico? Right now, now that's that's an issue be, because you could look at another Ma Malinois and they wouldn't do it like like Zico, right? Because all dogs individual, and one one of the big things Ivan teaches is that you want dogs to express their their individuality and you know when when he teaches the uh, competition he healing um the big thing for him is you know you don't want to force the dog to do this walk with the paws and and, and this whole mechanical thing that everybody does you want the dog to to do the things it's supposed to do it looks at you and it walks with you and it's it's it mo and it moves with you fast and spins with you and this and that and it does this dance this dance with you but it does the dance the way that dog does a dance right it's it's it is an individual thing and it's really cool when you give the dog the opportunity to express themselves 
as opposed to to we're going to make you walk a certain way you we're going to make you do do this a certain way and so you could take another Ma- Malinois and and that possession game with me wouldn't look exactly like that you know um um all dogs have their own individual things and and I'm really trying to to let them to show them hey show me show me whatever you have and I I'm going to show you what 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 I have here too, because we are playing a game, right? You know, we're not we're not reinforcing pun- punishing behaviors. We are playing a game, and when you play a game, you express yourself. You know, um, um, when you do jujitsu, you kick, you wrestle, you you play any sport, so- soccer. There's there's individuality there, you know, and 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 the best guys, women, guys, and everybody in the world. They do it with their own flair, you know. Um, so, so could somebody that was born three and a half feet tall could they play in NBA and could they play like Michael jo- Jordan? The question's really moot. It doesn't. It, that doesn't mean anything. Like, like why? Why would they want to play like him? They could be great at the game. They could love the game. They could get the benefits out of. Out of the game, basketball game, right? But they're never going to be Jordan, right? Um, and somebody else who's the exact—I think he was six, six nine or whatever. Somebody else who's the exact same height and the exact same build as him. There's plenty of them in NBA that that are the same height as him and isn't that, and didn't play any anywhere near his not only his his ability, but the way he played. You know, it was, it, you know, everybody has their own thing. And he was such a star that, that, that he really, he really showed what he could do, you know. So, so you know, you might get a, a, a bulldog. And no, it's not going to look like Zico, <laughs> you know. It's not going to do it with that speed and athleticism and stuff. But it will absolutely play the game. It will understand the game. It you're going to get all of benefits you get from from this game. You're going to get cooperation. You're going to get agreement. You're going to get for, for authority, acceptance of pe- penalties. There's, there's all of these things that 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 makes everything with the dog work in every other aspect of your life with a dog. You're going to get. You're going to make them confident. You're going to make them some somebody and. And that bulldog, no, his his down in mo- motion is not gonna look like my Malinois, right? But it's gonna it's gonna be really cool, and he's gonna be proud of it. And you're gonna play this game, and and, and you know he'll do it, right? Um, and even you take it a step more more than that, like the possession game might not be that game. They might like the ch- chase and catch, or they might like something else. You know. You, the biggest thing Ivan he teaches you is you discover that individual dog's genetic home base. You figure out what what the genetics are for that dog that turns them on. That 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 why the purpose they were put on this earth. You figure that out, and then and then you tap into that, and you bring that out more. And then you attach that to to things that that you want to do with the dog together, right? It's a very different approach. Um, I remember that that when I, I used to train, and I trained a lot of mixed martial arts and stuff. And I was training with a wrestler. His name is John John Tush, and he was an alternate the Olympic team twice. And then he went on, and he won, and he won the worlds. Um, and I trained with him for six years, about quite a bit. And I remember when, when his he had a son, and his son and his son was super, super young. Um, and I said, "Is he gonna, you know, um, uh, wrestle?" And John looked at me, and he said, um, "You know, Matt." Um, I'm going to introduce him to to a whole bunch of different things. I'll I'll introduce him to to it, and I would love him 
uh, uh, wrestle because that's that's what I've done my you know my whole life and that's what I was great great at and everything everything like that. But um, if he wants to play the flute, he's going to play the flute. If he wants to dance, he's going to dance. And um, and he said that that he's got to do something with everything he's got. He, he's got to do it well and put everything into it. And and that what that is is fi- finding out genetically what that kid is all about and focusing fun- funneling him into that thing, allowing him to be who who he's supposed to be. Um, his and his son he wrestled um, and he was actually really good, <laughs> um, but he he really wasn't his father and he was really into art and he he ended up doing great great things with art you know but the cool thing was was that you always hear that you know the you know the father wants the kid to be like him and everything and and and, and John was just so um he really got it he really understood that 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 this kid you know, like it's a tra- a, tra- a tragedy if if this kid did nothing if he just went through life no purpose objective right that's that's an issue but you have to find what what makes that kid tick and when you're dealing with dogs you you have to find what makes dogs tick and each dog individual dogs are easier because they're limited more they've been selectively bred and, and this and that and 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 you know you pretty much know you get malinois and there are certain things that they really like, really like to do. You get pit bulls and this and that, and there are certain things that they really like to do. You know, do you get pointers, retrievers, right? Um, but within within those breeds, they're also individuals, and they're going to like to do certain things more than other things. But then, you know, when you're dealing with pets too, you're going to get you get a lot of a lot of these dogs now. They're just bred generations in back in backyards with. With no objectives, no re- reasoning behind the behind why why they're being bred, so you have to take a look at the individual dog, figure out what's up with them, what they really love, tap into it, bring it out more, attach it to things with you, become a team, a team with the dog, and this and that. So the the question that this guy the the um, uh, statement he made on my on my um my video um that he would like to see another dog do that does he mean do exactly like that or does he mean play the possession game in um a general or does he mean my approach to dogs that i i find out what genetically lights them on fi- a fire what makes them tick tap into it bring it out more and use that you know, because that's what I do, right? Um, um, don't, don't, don't look at me training that dog and, and I'm playing a game. Don't look at that and say, yeah, but he can't do that with a poodle or he can't do that. Yeah, I absolutely can. Would it look exactly like, like that? Nope. Nope. But it doesn't ha- have to. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so look at it as, as the concept, don't look at it as that game and your dog has to do this. Look at it as a concept of, of find out what makes your dog tick. Um, tap into their genetics, bring them out more, and and make everything work from there. And and th- this is a big thing. I, Ivan's course is two and a half months long, and um, there is a lot of a lot of stuff, but. But I hope this kind of introduces you to the concept, and um, it—it's not that you're playing tug of war, you're playing, or you're playing fetch with balls and this and that. That's re—that's superficial. <clears throat> it goes way, way, way beyond that. And people—people pe- people that don't have—don't have the results because they're just approaching it that 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 way and. The people that are having tremendous results with Ivan's stuff understand what I just what I said to you. They they approach this by looking into the individual genetics of a dog and what makes them tick and this and that. You know, um, so so that's that's what this is about. This isn't about 
you trying to make your dog look like Zico or me trying to make the next dog look like him, right? They're all individuals. Figure them out, bring them out, and, and do what's best for that individual dog. Once again, I hope this helped. Um, that's it. Over and out.